Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to start building up our thread. So as you guys remember, we finished with our tag model and then we did our alert. All right. So what we're going to do now is we need to set up our thread model. All right. And obviously every thread is going to have an order, an author. So what we want to do is we want to actually create an author trade. So in our trades, we're going to create a new trade as well. And we're going to call this one as author.php. All right. So we create that trade. Now, the reason for that is let's say we want to add later on, we want to add articles, posts, or whatever the case might be. Then we can use the same trade for that as well. All right. So let's create the trade as author first. All right. So what we do is we open our PHP, open our PHP tag, and we're going to namespace to the full path of app trades okay so we got that set all right the next part is we need to create a trade as well so trade and then we're going to just name it as author all right and then opening and closing curly braces all right so we're just going to return a public function uh, author and then we're just going to bring in the user class all right, because the user model. Okay, so we just need to bring in that model as well. So just import it at the top. All right. Um, if you guys do get errors or anything like that, just make sure you import the relevant uh, relevant classes just at the top. Okay, just make sure that they're all imported. Yes. All right. So the next thing is then what we want to do is we want to return this author because we haven't created this yet author relation all right so we just want to return the author relation all right now the let's create that author relation so public function okay so now this is basically the relationship that we would have normally put in here like the belongs to relationship so now instead of doing that in here we're actually doing it in its own trade okay so we can so let's just do this author relation all right and this is going to be a belongs to because the thread is a child of the user so that it's going to be a belongs to relationship so we're expecting in the threads database migration there needs to be a uh, author ID or a user ID. Laravel actually will expect a user ID with default, but we will overwrite that with an author ID. Okay, so return this belong belongs to. Okay, so that will belong to the user class, and we gonna specify because Laravel will expect a user ID. What we will do is we will change that to be actually the author ID. Okay, so now Laravel will know which column to look for when it gets to the thread class. Okay, so just make sure this is also imported. As you can see, it's imported at the top, and you will see the user is also imported at the top. All right, so the next thing that we want to add is we want to add a public uh, function is authored is authored by so this is the user we're going to pass the user model uh, in it and we're just going to return a boolean and this is basically return this author the method that we just created on top all right so this method right here we're just going to check that method and we want to see if it matches okay uh, spell did i spell right okay matches and obviously we want to pass in the user uh, variable right there all right so it's authored by that user so just it will turn a true or false 
All right. The next thing is we want to public uh, function. And this one is basically going to be authored uh, by. So as you guys remember, this is more or less what we're going to. We're going to take a lot of things. Not a lot, but we're going to take some of the things that off the laravel.io forum and actually incorporate that into our own so that we can be able to show you guys how it works and how to, and all that kind of stuff right so we bring in the user and we're going to pass in the author variable all right so we could have just made it user right here just like this but we're going to leave it as author because you, you, we will see when we get to that part why this is useful. I will refer back to this method. All right, so author relation, the method that we just created, this one right here. Okay, and then we want to associate. We want to associate with the author. So basically the user right there. Okay, and then we're just going to do this. Dot unset relation so now what this does it provides all these methods in every class uh, if we add the article class and we put in has author it will provide all these useful methods for that class okay so then instead of we have to recreate all of this in every class if we need something new all right so unset relation and then we're just going to do that author relation all right let me just close that off all right so basically now we got our author trade and then what we want to do now is we're just going to as author as you can see it's there so we just close it off so what now is it provides all that methods in that has author class will now be available in our thread right here right so the next part that we want to do in our thread class is we want to do just on top here protected fillable all right and that's going to equal to an array and what we want to do is we want to do the subject okay so what the user wants to talk about okay all right so basically if the the subject will basically be the title and this right here and then obviously the body tag and the categories because remember the category also has a uh, belongs to let me just add the semicolon there otherwise we get the error All right the it also have a category right here but the thing is with the public with the tags with the hashtags right here it's got a polymorphic relationship so that is handled a little bit differently all right so in this case what we want to do is we want to add that category id in as well so we've got the subject and then we've got the category uh, id let me just close that off then we have let me just can add that at the next part with the body so that's basically the body of tags and then we have the author id as well just remember the author id is also because it has a belongs to relationship so it's expecting a user id in the threads uh, database so we have the author id because we name it the author id and so lateral will expect the author id now All right so we've got a public we got that set up now the next part that we want to do is we want to add the what we want to do is we want to do the protected width. Now, this works. Let's say it needs to be an array. So let's say you do an, a query. Let's say we do a query like this, users. Okay. And then we get all the user. And then we can just say width. And then we add the width right here with um, authors. This is an example. Now this, if we add the width statement right here, the width right here, 
we don't have to add it in here because it will automatically whenever we call on the user model or the threat model so let's just make it uh, threats like this so it's kind of better just to explain the same thing so in the thread with we will normally do that with um, authors okay so what it will do is now it will automatically every time I call all let's say threads uh, paginate uh, paginate 10 okay just an example so we want to get all the threads and we want to paginate 10 of them so what will happen now is if we add the relationship with the authors right here will automatically include it in our thread when every time when we call on the threads it will automatically eager load them all right so that's basically what the width does all right so if you want to read more about it i will leave a link in the comment section for that in the laravel docs all right so let me just add here and what we want to do now is that author relation okay so remember the author relations if we go to our author right here is this relationship right here now let's say what we want to do let's say we name this users user all right so thread with user then we add that in there all right but since we call the call called it author relation and will actually load that eagle load that relationship in here all right and obviously the next thing that we need is here we need to eagle load the categories okay because of that uh, let's just go to our category as you can see let's go to, and you can see also we have the tags relation we want to eagle load that as well so instead of categories just remember category because of this right so we just want to put in that tags relation as well so obviously if we need to add something else a little bit later we want to add that as well like for instance the replies the replies also will have a relationship with the with the threads we want to add that in later as well right so the next thing that we want to do is yeah let's just keep keep it at that for now let's just set up our database and migrate it let's go to our database the video is getting a little bit long maybe let's do another short video in the following one where we just set up the database all right let me just add the next part here is just want to add a public function of delete public function of delete all right now if we call on this delete method what it will do is it will actually remove the tags because we need to create that methods obviously so this dot remove tags this comes with right so remove tags and what we want to do is the parent and then we want to add a delete to the parent class delete all right so let's leave it like that now the thing is the remove tags method we haven't created that yet in our tags so let's go into our tags as factory right here and let's just create a public function so remove tags all right we're obviously going to add a little bit more when we to this part right here when we get to actually the replies right now for now this works it's all good so the next thing that we do is the public remove tags and in this method what we want to do is we want to this dot tags relation the one that we just created this one right here okay what we want to do is we want to detach the tags okay and then we want to unset that relation this unset relation and that's going to be the tags relation all right so now all this method goes to if we let's say we create the article like i explained before we can just use all these methods will be available to that class when we import the trade at the top right there we use the trade right so let's 
do that for this episode. All right, what we will do, the next one will be actually a short one. So what we will do is we will just set up our migrations in our threads table right here. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section. If you do have an error, I will sometimes ask you just to post that method or something so I can just see what you did so that I can be able to correct it for you. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please give it a like. And yes, if you have any positive or negative feedback, we'll really appreciate it. That's just for other people to find the videos. That's all. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Goodbye.